presented by EA Game Changers. So shout out to them for letting me have this opportunity to upload, to post, to even get this, uh, you know, content. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 22 gameplay. In this gameplay, this is our first ever Mutt gameplay of Madden 22. As you can tell, the audios are not synced. Uh, I was recording this gameplay, and then I went back and realized, as I'm on my phone, uh, I went back and realized that the audio was echoing. So that's why uh, the audios are not in sync. Obviously, this face cam is, uh, you know, was live. And then the audio of me is not, li uh, you know, it's post-com. And, you know, this is Mutt Gameplay vs. KMAC. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be breaking down stuff right here, right now. So you guys can see right here, I'm in the 335 wide New York Giants playbook. I'm going to let you guys see my, like, substitutions. We have that number 15, Jaleb Phillips on that right side. Micah Parsons on the left side. And we will be using Trevin Morig, the Raiders rookie out of TCU, free safety with that 90 speed. I was right here, accidentally come out on the wrong play. We're going to call a timeout to get set up. And I don't know if I already said this or not, but this is a gameplay versus KMAC. If you watched our Rex gameplay, you know how that went, and this is the rematch. So if you haven't watched that Rex gameplay, go ahead and watch that um, due to, you know, you know, it, it kind of being a series. Right now, I'm not going to say what happened in that Rex game, but, you know, this has been a really great series thus far. As you see right there on that first down, um, no rush yards. He is using, he is using Trevor Lawrence. And I got to warn you guys, uh, fair warning, there, there are no abilities in this, uh, you know, kind of test game. Now, I don't know what happened. We both had our abilities set. But what actually had happened was um, when you get in a Mutt player friend game, I don't know if it's due to it being, you know, like a beta or not at the full build. Uh, there was like this glitch where our abilities just wouldn't lock in. So this is a full Mutt game without any abilities. And there he is going to throw a dot to Kyle Pitts. Tight end rookie for the Atlanta Falcons with that 88 speed. Here we go once more. He's going to be in the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook. I'm in the New York. I'm in the New England Patriots. It's right here. Easy dot to Derrick Henry. And yeah, spread is going to be a problem. If you guys hadn't been able to tell, spread is on the rise, on the come up ever since last year. And um, this year, it's really hard to, you know, user. It's really hard to get some blitz pressure. And spread, you know, that's the two things that, you know, spread uh, hates the most is, you know, a good user and good blitz. Uh, as right here, he's going to hit Jamar Chase on this high ball, but thankfully he overthrows it. And, you know, Trevor Lawrence is an 86 overall. He's not that full potential of, you know, maybe someone like a Tom Brady or, uh, you know, even Aaron Rodgers. So maybe that's why he overthrew that high ball. As right here, we are once more in the 3 through 5 wide, and we're manning up the running back. We're playing decent coverage. We got a purple on the right, purple on the left. And right here, we decided to switch it up and man up everyone. It's right here. I don't know what was happening. He was taking a long time to call his play. And, you know, these adjustments actually turn out pretty well. We get some nice pressure, some nice sheds. And maybe, maybe, just maybe he was throwing a book. Maybe not. But um, nonetheless, it is a third down and 10. And I really want to get off the field right here, right now. And right here, you see me using Buda Baker. I really don't know his speed. I kind of just readied up a lineup. If you couldn't tell by now, EA granted us um some mutt cards for this game changers program i'm a part of the game changers program thus allowing me to capture some early madden 22 content it's right here we're going to tackle him and it's going to be a fourth down and two so yeah if you were confused about how i was playing the game early uh it's a part of the game changers opportunity like i said this is not the full build of madden 22 at all by any means this is kind of like a test out play it type of thing and also to get some early content for you guys but Going back to the game, big fourth down and three right here. We're trying to make some adjustments, manning up a couple people. And, of course, we clicked on to J.J. Watt. It's all good, though, because we played some pretty good defense. And, wow, uh, just so close to making that tackle, swatting the ball out. As you see, I kind of put my hands down because I wanted that to be like a, you know, deflection or something. But, nonetheless, Derrick Henry gets his feet in bounds and converts the fourth down. And right here, man, I expect like a high ball. Or, you know, Derrick Henry run because high balls are really overpowered, especially in the red zone. You see me man up Derrick Henry on the left side. And he's going to, you know, try to step up. And he's actually able to step up and without any consequences of fumbling at all. I was pretty, you know, I wanted to fumble right there. It's right here once more in the 3 3 5 wide. And this is something you will see for the entirety of this game. Um, I do wish I changed it up, switched it up. I have Giants playbook. You know, I could run 1 4 6 over G. Um, and I definitely should have done so. Um, this is not really like a competitive game at all. And, and I probably took it like as a competitive game, honestly, knowing me. 
Um, but you know, it should definitely have been a like, oh, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works type of game. If you guys know what I mean, it's right here. He's going to try to highball something and he just throws it right at Buda Baker. Um, that was a quarter right there, man. I feel like I was in position. It doesn't matter. DeAndre Hopkins just ags this and you see me put my controller down, hands in the air. I'm like, oh my gosh, man. And here's a replay of it. Buda Baker was literally right there and I just don't get any type of, uh, animation holding Y or whatever it may be. And here we go, man. Offensive side of things, always super fun. It's right here. We're going to hit Jamar Chase on the run. That's that's a day one must, man. If, if you're planning on not getting Jamar Chase, oh, he's too hard to get. I don't know if there's going to be a set for rookie premieres. I know myself did not do the rookie premiere, but there's a way to obtain him. I will definitely have him. As you see right there, a Pat Sale dot. Aaron Rodgers on the run. Um, I should have used Josh Allen. I didn't even realize he got set feet lead. Uh, there is no gunslinger for day one. Um, that's probably a given, but I, I didn't know that Josh Allen would have that set feet lead. I definitely should have used him, but you know, Aaron Rodgers is a good second option because he's going to still have that God tier release that we all know and love for many years. And you know, he's, you know, you see him two of two, one extremely hard throw on the run. And then the next throw was a simple out route. If you don't know about those out routes and in routes, wait for my tip Tuesday, man, it's going to change your game. And you're going to be able to dot up so many things with those out routes and in routes. Definitely the most overpowered route in the game. It's right here. Here we go with some four verticals. Four verticals is a great option. And we're going to hit Kyle Pitts in this left um, end zone, you know, right up the seam. No pressure or anything. He ran match. And there it goes. Kyle Pitts throwing up the salute. And there we go. A three play. I want to say it was a three play drive resulting in seven. Just a nice comeback to scoring some points. And these are four-minute quarters as well, by the way, guys. Um, it's right here. Aaron Donald's going to say, nope, you're not running on me. And these guys are, if you're going to have the best D linemen, as you see the signature by Aaron Donald, you're, if you're going to have these best D linemen, they are going to change the game for the better for you, man. They're going to slow the run down completely. Um, there's a couple instances I got Insta sheds. For the most part, though, I have been getting dotted because I am sending five. I'm just so used to sending five. It's right here. He's going to motion over DeAndre Hopkins and a blown coverage and a half. Um, cover three. I didn't move my inside third over. I didn't even man up him. And, you know, even though D hop has like 84, 85 speed, he's still able to bounce it all the way to the crib. Just terrible defense. And there goes new Hopkins doing his second signature touchdown of the game. It's right here, guys, going back to the wishing well of Derrick Henry on this out route and look how OP it is. He sends the dogs and there's just no chance of him, you know, getting to me fast enough before I could throw that out route. It's just such a super easy read. Just wait for the tip Tuesday, guys. And there's a chance it comes out actually on Thursday. So, you know, excuse me if I say tip Tuesday. There's a chance it comes out on Thursday because I just don't know the timing. Is there goes Reek up the middle. Reek the freak. Can we bounce it? And no, we can't. We get hawked down by JC Horn, I want to say. 89 speed on, I think, 90 by Tyreek. I couldn't, I don't think I know, uh, I don't know if I had him powered up or not. I'll be able to tell you later on, guys. But, you know, here we go. We're cooking up two easy plays. And look how easy it is um, to beat the Blitz in this year's game. Over G was a, definitely a very good Blitz last year. It's right here. There goes Derrick Henry rumbling, stumbling all the way up to the 10-yard line. But like I was saying, guys, if it is, uh, you know, Tip Thursday, then just think of it as a Tip Thursday. If it's Tip Tuesday, think of it as Tip, tip Tuesday. It's right here. We are in the heavy P, the heavy Patriot. New formation added for Cam Newton in the Patriots playbook this year. Uh, it just makes all the sense, man. We saw them running running it a lot last year. I believe the Patriots did run it versus the Ravens in that one Sunday night football match. And, you know, they actually had a lot of success running that heavy Patriot, those heavy sets with Cam Newton because Cam Newton still has it as a runner. Um, right here, we are setting up a nice dot, third and four. We're just going to try to hit something open. And there he goes once more. Kyle Pitts, we un we unnecessarily highball it, but thankfully A Rod got that you know god tier release, that god tier accuracy, and we were able to get our feet in bounds. So there we go, man. Tying the game up, and I know you guys can't see. Uh, I, I'm definitely gonna minimize my face cam. I didn't even realize how much space it was taking up. Apologies on my part. Um, there's around 25 seconds left in this game, and yeah, man, I could t definitely tell like this is pretty annoying for you guys to see how much time is left while I'm playing. I will definitely fix that and probably move it to the top left corner. As you see, I was on my phone, man. Um, and yeah, just forgive me on that part. That's on me. Uh, the next couple gameplays you'll see will definitely be fixed. And yeah, that's how we're going to be moving. See right here, I'm going to change my zone drops. I don't know if you guys peeped it or not. I'm setting 10s and 20s. 
And the way to change your zone drops this year is clicking R3. And those of you who play next gen already know that. Those of you who are on current gen may not know that. But you see right here, we're not trying to give up any bombs. We're manning up those seams. Because one thing we don't want to do is give up a seam right here. Is right here, he's going to throw on the run to Derrick Henry. And Ramsey is not able to get there for us and pick that off. But I'm completely fine with it. That should, probably should have been a dot. Maybe if he set his feet. Um, there goes Trevor Lawrence once more, man. He's Trevor Lawrence has kind of been selling. He is a field general archetype, so he might get some of those nice abilities. Um, definitely not going to get Hot Rod Master or anything like that very early on. But maybe if you know he's balling out towards the you know middle of the season, he will get an upgrade. And you know that upgrade might consist of something like Hot Rod Master, Conductor, those type of abilities. But there you saw him dot up with that deep attack post and this play right here, man. There's about eight seconds, I want to say. This play right here, I just need you to watch this play. And these zones, these zones, uh, they will get buffed up. But yeah, this play had me a little hot. As right here, perfect user, everything. And that's Jalen Ramsey powered up to the max. And you see my face, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. How did he catch that with Derrick Henry? Man, oh man, that was some cheese. Absolute cheese. Um, I just don't know how that was caught to this, you know, to this day, to this minute. But here he goes. He's going to attempt this field goal with Justin Tucker. And we don't know if he misses this on purpose, but he definitely does miss it. Um, if he does miss it on purpose, this good guy came back. He saw the, the cheese happening right in front of our eyes. And he decided to miss. Or maybe he just missed on purpose. Either way. We will, you know, just think of it as that. And here is the new halftime adjustments, offense and, you know, defense. Um, the thing is, it was kind of frozen at this time, but you see how it's going to work. If you have those backup wide receivers slash backup or D defensive players, then you're going to be able to switch them out. Um, you see all the buttons right here. So kind of take a screenshot, do whatever you got to do. Um, it wasn't fully like registering. Obviously, this is like a, not the full game build at all. So just think of it as like that. So it was kind of stuck on this screen for like a minute. And then um, I don't even think it goes to defense at all. It just stays on offense. And then, you know, we just end up in the second half. So it's a pretty cool thing they're adding in this game. Um, a definitely huge, huge thing that's going to win people games, lose people games. Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. I think of it as like a mental chess match. You know, I feel like I'll be able to beat you even if you have edge protectors or edge threats. I feel like I'll be able to beat you if you have one step or, you know, whatever it may be. So, um, you know, we're just going to have to see how the game plays out and see how people use that halftime adjustment screen to their advantage or their disadvantage. But here we go with the second half. Uh, we get the ball. It's right here, guys. First play at a half. You know who we're going to. Derrick Henry. He doesn't get us that many yards, but we will take our three to four yards. Right here, guys. We run 5-1-8 hook first match, and we get a little under pressure in accurate lob pass. Um, I don't know how fast Jamal Adams is, but I want to say that could have, could have gone right over his head um, if, you know, it was an accurate pass. Then again, you know, I don't have a full, you know, these are end-of-the-year quarterbacks, end-game quarterbacks. I really don't know how much throw power Aaron Rodgers has, but this was a duck. I feel like I had to step on him if I could have lobbed that over the top of him. But nonetheless, it's just not a read you can make. And that's the boundaries of Mutt and Regs so far. And Regs, you can 100% make that throw. I've been making those type of throws and reads all type of games so you know this is my first muck game so far thought i could make that throw up in reality it was just really good defense right here k-mac is gonna try to lob this high pass to kyle pitts but there goes jalen ramsey making a play deflecting the pass right here man we're starting just a little bit surely but slowly we're trying to make some adjustments it's right here kyle pitts is so open and man oh man my send five did not come in once um i know i'm not hovering in the correct spots and i don't even know if send five is even going to be a viable option out of this 35 wide and uh, that's something i definitely got accustomed to a lot last year as you see right here i'm gonna just i'm trying to do different things um i even like we finally get a shed by aaron donald but i even kind of just hit the guard and these old linemen are reacting very very well to the send five pressure um if you want to rewind that and see what i'm talking about that right of screen linebacker kind of got picked up at the last second when i thought he was going to scream but right here, we're going to make some nice adjustments once more. Manning up the right side of the field. Um, he motions over the left, and we man up that guy as well. But somehow, some way, I actually see how that happened now. Um, Jalen Phillips, my right outside linebacker, who was manned up to Derrick Henry, accidentally bumped into that zig route that came out in the field. Thought it was about to be a pick, but nonetheless, it was a wide open, good read. 
making that second down and long into a third and four. Right here, man, we're trying to send the five again. The send five pressure. Uh, we're engaging with our user this time to make it seem like, you know, we're sending six and dupe out the O-line, but we get stuck. We actually we get some nice pressure, though, with Trevin Morick. He kind of loops around the old lineman and the running back, and he did have someone open in that right flat, and we will surely take that. And that loop right there kind of makes me want to think, like, is loop going to be good in this year's game? Because the way he kind of looped around the running back seems super glitchy. So, you know, it's just a, it's just a thought on defense. If I want to lab something up, I'll look at that. I've definitely already looked at the loop blitzes in this year's game, and they're pretty decent to say the least. But here we go, fourth and four. We have some contains on the field. Uh, he makes a nice read and gets a great rack animation, which helps him fall forward. And this literally, it was like a fourth and four, and he literally gets four and a half yards. That was super close to not being a first down. But yeah, man, that's spread. I feel like I've definitely been slowing him down compared to that first half. But he's just converting on those, you know, those plays, you know, those those simply plays is right here he gets all the time in the world he's gonna do a spin uh i don't know if he if you guys saw the spin i think it kind of cut out um but buddha baker absolutely hits him and maybe he maybe he didn't even spin but that's gonna be a thing this year guys fumbles beware of fumbles is right here i'm trying to see if he spun and no he did not spin uh he just gets obliterated by buddha baker so you know we will gladly take that fumble but I suggest you guys playing on conservative might be the ordeal with how hard it is to get a stop very early on in the game. You're definitely not going to be want to cough up that ball because that's a thing that could definitely happen. It's right here. We're just going to pass it to Derrick Henry, and he breaks a tackle for us. And you see me going to that out route many times. Uh, it's just been just a safe, reliable read. So here we go, man. After getting that blessed fumble, we're in position to go once more go up, man. And if we throw a pick again, that's going to be on us. Uh... Is right here. We're trying to look for R1, and we have R1, but we get a bad, you know, a long windup slash just good defense, man. And once I get Gunslinger right there on that Aaron Rodgers or whoever my quarterback is going to be, he's going to thread that needle faster. I guess I could have thrown it a little quicker, but nonetheless, we are going to be settled for a third and three right here. And I accidentally come out in the wrong play. This is not the play I wanted to come out in. I thought I had Pat Sale in my audibles, and he actually runs match. And this guy right here, Jair Alexander, is going to match onto us and pick us off. So we go from throwing a dot out of bounds to, boom, throw a pick six. It's a tough uh, tough series of events to now K-Mac has all the momentum. As you see in the top middle, he has all the momentum boost all on his side. He has 21 points. We have 14. So this is going to be hard to come back from. And he's going to get ball last as well, if we, even if we do score. Right here, guys. We're going to bomb him right over the top. He decides to run match. And then a little news flash for you guys. Match is not as good as it once was in this year's Madden. There's just a lot of zones going all across the place. Unless there's going to be a patch or, you know, some update, I suggest not running match until you, maybe you just completely master it because right there, that was the easiest touchdown you'll ever see. Tyree Kill just running wide open. Um, and right there, you see the top middle. All the momentum is pretty much neutral at this point you know a little bit of the ticks are on his side but i will take that instead of you know him having all the momentum in the game but here we go man this is going to be the last drive of the game it seems like if we could get a stop we'll get the ball back um you know let's see how he plays it they're four minute quarters as well this is going to be tough right here he's going to start off his drive by throwing it to derrick henry the audio kind of cut out excuse me the Video kind of cut out, but he throws a nice little table route to Derrick Henry. Jalen Phillips with a huge hit stick. And there goes to the fourth quarter. And here we go, man. I'm still in this 3-3-5 wide. He decides to run it, and he actually ends up getting yards for once. I got kind of got quick hike. Um, it was a good run play call to just get that first down. And read option may be the run that he wants to call rather than that base because those bases were getting blown up, slash shedded. I mean, here we go, man, trying to get some adjustments going on on the field. And I like these adjustments a lot. I remember thinking of this game, oh, yeah, these adjustments are going to work. See right here, there's really, um, you know, I will take that. That was open, but that's on me for my user not being there. And um, he ends up getting five yards on that. But you see me, I'm going to set my zone drops. Sometimes I have to do this. I have to relook on which one is which because I get confused. Uh, right there, I wanted that right side to be the five and the left side to be the 15. And I think it may have been switched. But you see right here, 
we're going back to those same adjustments because I think they're going to get us uh, at least one stop on one of these downs. And that's what they do, it looks like, right here. Everything is bagged up. And guess what? He could take off. So there's always that threat of taking off. I couldn't get a shed, unfortunately. But, um, you know, we're getting closer and closer to getting a stop. Yet the game is getting closer and closer to ending. So something's got to give in uh, here very soon. Am I going to get a stop or is he going to end the game? It's right here. He's going to motion Jamar Chase. And we are just going to match him, man him up, blitz him, do something. We end up blitzing him. And let me know who that was to, guys. Was that 2A or was that to the zig route? I need to know because if that was to the zig route, that actually was going to be one of the very few user picks I've gotten in Madden 22. If that was going to be to A, that would have been a dot. So let me know if that was a user pick for six or if that was going to A, the tight end. Either way, it doesn't matter. Next play mentality. It's right here. My adjustments kind of get messed up, but thankfully we were able to readjust. It's right here. He's going to hit Jamar Chase or whoever number uh, Y was. But thankfully, we get it under pressure and accurate. We need that, man. So two kind of back-to-back -back wild plays, one being in a uh, deflection of the quarterback and another being a just incomplete pass uh, due to just inaccuracy. It sets up a third down and 10, and you know he's going to go for this. There's no way he's settling for three after the last game we played. It's right here. D-Hop cooks us, man. And it's just a terrible user, man. I thought I could trust um, I think that was Ramsey in coverage. I thought I could trust him, but he D hop just cooked us. Once I learned the user mechanics and movements, I will definitely jump on that in route next time because that was as good as defense as you're going to see, man. Um, the, the post coming from right to left, whoever was on that was kind of back. I had a purple in that area too. So that was going to make the read the throw harder to make. Um, and my user just was in no man's land, and I chose the wrong thing to use her. It's right here. He is just going to throw an easy pass to Tyree Kill. And, yeah, man, at least we have a chance to score. That's the beautiful part about this. This game is not completely over yet. Right here, guys, third down and one. I just want you guys to look at A. Look how open A is, man. And I end up throwing it to Reek, which isn't a bad read at all. Um... You know, this way I could kind of take some clock with me, but A was so open, Pav. Super blind by myself by not taking that. But then again, man, like I said, this is going to be a game of, you know, you want to clock, you want to get those stops, and, you know, play the clock. It's right here. We are going to try to make a read. The game kind of freezes. Excuse me for that. And we throw an absolute dot, and we get, I don't know if that's cheated, but we just can't get our feet in bounds, man. That was 5 one hook versus match. And I motioned it out. That's Jamar Chase going down the sideline. Something similar to the beginning of the game. Yet we get that fall for it, reach for it, dive for it type of animation. And we are not able to get our feet in bounds. It's right here. We are looking for something. And we hit A. Just not enough yards, man. He's starting to blitz. And, you know, good adjustments by him. I definitely had some other stuff open. But I kind of got shook by the blitz. And right here, man, we're trying to go up-tempo. Trying to call hike as fast as we can. We have R1 wide open, but guess what? We're going to take our time and playmaker. And whew, thank God that wasn't picked. I don't know what kind of inaccurate pass that was. I don't know if it's because that playmaker. Um, there's just a lot of weird stuff going on right now. But somehow, some way, it's a fourth down and six. I've had all the chances in the world to get my touchdown. I've had two open reads the past two plays. But here we go, man. Fourth down and six. I'm kind of trying to think of the play call. I decided to go with verts and put a slant. Ew, ew, ew. And I actually end up having Jamar Chase running down the sideline. He makes a great adjustment. He sends the dogs. If I would have kept four verts, it would have been a nice read to the crosser. Instead, I put a slant. And uh, what he actually did, and another thing I didn't do, I didn't put those that out route to my running back that I had been putting all game. I believe he put like a 15 soft squat. I'm going to rewind it in a second on the solo side. And I want you guys to look at this cornerback, this receiver going on right here. He backs him up too. I don't know if he intentionally did that, but it was really high IQ. This actually ends up playing the streak long enough for me to make a bad read. The pressure came in, and there it is, man. Great adjustments. Great game. It's a high-level chess match. And K-Mac has my number right now. He's 2-0, but definitely going to have to catch him in weekend league or something. You know I ain't going down like that. But there it is, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. If you want to see more content like that, hit that like button. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get a game three in. 
Uh, but till next time, be on the lookout for my next upload. Smash that like button. Sub if you enjoy the content. Once more, thank you to EA Game Changers for this opportunity to capture some great content for you guys. Till next time, boys. I'm signing out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.